Well, guys, you're not seeing things. My futon bed is actually gone. And I'm making room, uh, basically, for my new bed, my new actual bed that I'll be getting today. Um, the only tricky thing right now is with FedEx, since they're the ones delivering it, um, the only thing they say is being on its way to be delivered today is the mattress. But it's also still saying... That estimated for today is the bed frame. And I looked this up and basically even FedEx said that it's not unusual for an item that is that has a tracking number. Uh, it's not unusual to not be tracked or be you know lost in the shuffle. Like it's on its way, but it's not uncommon for it, you know, something like you know, for something like it to be, you know, not tracked. Um, and I think the reason being in this case, because the mattress and the bed frame are both coming from the same location. So I could assume that that's why we're, um, you know, that's, you know, that's why it's telling me only, only giving me like the, um, estimation, uh, date or scheduled or whatever the case may be date, uh, for the mattress because the bed frame is coming along with it. Now over here. This here is the topper the for the mattress. Basically, it's what you put on, on top of it. Uh, a good example, basically, I'm not going to show you much, but my mom's bed, like right there, that right there, it has kind of like a topper on top of the mattress so she can have a little comfort. So, so yeah, I have a topper coming. Well, not a topper, but the topper's here. The mattress and the bed frame are next. But you're probably wondering, okay, well, where's your futon? What what you do with it? Well, I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, I got up early this morning. It is now about 8.25 Pacific time on Friday, the 5th of March. And I know because I had to change my calendar. But... But yeah, basically, I got up early, got dressed, if you will, got some coffee, got the necessary tools needed, like the um, Allen wrenches here, and the, uh, like the Allen wrenches and the wrenches, period, um, if you will. So I could, you know, take it apart and everything. And it was a lot easier than, you know, people thought it would be. Uh, the only tricky part is basically getting it uh, through the house uh, because, as you can see, you can end up having a little bit of leftover debris, if you will. But thankfully, I was able to do it without any damage being done. So, but so yeah. Um, anyway, the so yeah, it's been quite the morning already for me. But again, if you're wondering what a futon is, I'll show you right now. So yeah, here it is guys. This is the futon that I laid on for the past couple of years. This is actually the second futon I utilized because this futon originally we had gotten for my uh, cousin who's half a year older than me. He's about nine months older than me. He was born in November 78. I was born in July 79. And he stayed. And he was staying with me and my mom for a while to kind of get things straightened out to kind of get his, you know, mind, you know, back on track, you know, with his family and his personal life and everything. And thank the Lord he was able to do that. But he needed something to sleep on because he would sleep on the floor at times or sleep on the uh, couch in the living room. So my mom said, you know what, let's go get you a futon or something to sleep on, like a bed or a futon, like what I had, because I got a futon basically, I think, a couple of months in when I was living, when I first came back in 2007. So what happened, long story short, is I had to get rid of the futon I had when we were moving because it was pretty much in rough shape. And this one basically followed suit afterwards because after my cousin uh, moved out, uh, got you know, moved out and went back to his family, you know, after he, like I said, got, you know, you know, thank the Lord, he, you know, got things straightened out. Um, you know, after he moved out, this uh, futon got utilized a couple of more times by my, sec by my oldest nephew when he would stay the night. My second older nephew, you know, they would lay on it, they would sit on it, you know, play games. And long story short, long story short, after all, so long, basically long story sh short, 
after all of that, and then including me taking it over when I, uh, when me and my mom moved here to Newman, when I made it my own, because like I said, I had to get rid of the other one, pretty much <laughs> it finally, you know, it finally had its days numbered because throughout the time it, I would have it, I would lay on it, and then we would have, you know, company and all that, and, you know, they would come over and, you know, say my my uh, uh, niece's fiance and my nephews would be in my room playing the game sometimes. This got a lot of, you know, wear and tear with people sitting on it, along with myself, where, again, like I said, I would spread it out, sleep on it, you know, whatever the case may be. And, yeah, let's just say with the combination of me, my cousin who was originally sleeping on it before, then my nephews, like I said, pretty much its days were numbered. And as you could tell, it really was just, you know, just getting ready to go. You could just tell by the damage here. I mean, the uh, advantage of what this had was it had one of these. It was That's the advantage it had was when you would sit down, you would be able to put your cups and your drinks and stuff on there. And that was one of the selling points about it. But when we got it originally... Um, it was already set up. It's like they were clearancing it out. So that right, that right there should have been like some kind of a clue. Uh, that should have been some kind of clue right then and there. Sorry, sorry, I just had a little bit of burp there. But like I said, that should have been the clue right then and there that um, you know this might not be you know lasting forever. And it and it didn't. Like I said, it served its purpose, but over time it just finally started to fall apart and everything. And like I said, the advantage was it had uh, the drink area. It had the little drink carrier here, and then it had the storage area underneath. But like I said, pretty much it finally just, its days were finally numbered. And it, it was getting to the point that when I would sleep, I was sleeping. Okay, so basically I was sleeping on this side. This is the side I was sleeping on. And as you could tell, the hole was just getting down deeper and deeper. And it almost came to the point that this was falling, this was getting so low that I was almost going to get ready to fall into it. I just felt like one of these days, one of these nights, if I didn't, you know, finally replace it, I was going to fall down in it. You know, I was literally going to break right through it. So yeah, it's history. We're going to, we're going to probably take it to, uh, to the dump and, uh, just, uh, you know, move on from there. Um, but yeah, pretty much the, uh, it's pretty much, uh, history. Like I said, it served its purpose and I, I can't ask it for any more than that, but I just wanted to show you, uh, basically the, the first step that I'm taking and that I've taken this morning, early this morning to, uh, get the futon and stuff. Um, you know, out of the way so I can get, you know, make space, clean up, clean it up and make space for my new bed that's coming later today. So, um, let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. Let me know if you've had to uh, deal with this kind of stuff in the past. How did you handle it? And I will talk to y'all later. God bless. Take care. I'm out.